are ready to get planting. Are you going to join me? I hope so. I hope you are. Hi folks, good day. Mr. Gary here with you from GBL, the old church, five acre homestead. Uh, I'm in my greenhouse and it's 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's the same as around 35 degrees Celsius. It's quite, quite hot. I've taken off my shirt. I've taken off my vest. I just have on a white t-shirt and I'm donning though a brand new hat. Lost, Las Vegas, Nevada is on this brand new hat that I'm donning. And uh, I want to send out an invitation to anyone out there, our friends in the U.S. If you want to send Mr. Gary and Mrs. Betty a ticket to go to, uh, to go to Las Vegas, Nevada and do some gambling at the casinos or to watch a show, go ahead. Send us the playing fair and we'll meet you there. And we'll have a grand, grand time in Las Vegas, Nevada. Mr. Gary and Mrs. Betty and you. But you gotta pay for it. You gotta pay for it right on. So let's get on with what I'm doing here today. I'm getting ready to plant my cucumbers, English cucumbers. They grow around eight to 10 inches long. And I'm also gonna grow some, uh, some tomatoes. And we're gonna talk about that very, very soon. Uh, I've got a, I got my uh, cucumbers all spread out here inside my greenhouse. My greenhouse soil has all been aerated and fertilized with this multi-purpose 15, 15, 15. And folks, we are ready to get planting. Are you gonna join me? I hope so. I hope you are. I hope you're gonna watch the process that Mr. Gary does, and it has always been 100% successful. If you follow it, it'll be 100% successful for you too. This is the inside of our greenhouse. Uh, here in Gander, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. This is a greenhouse that I built from scratch with locally milled lumber and uh, recycled and reclaimed vinyl siding and all that kind of stuff. So I've got my tomato plants all laid out here now where I want to plant them. I do that kind of thing at first and then I kind of get a pattern on the go. I've got six tomato plants over on this side and then I'm starting along the back wall. Uh, of my greenhouse with some English cucumbers. I got them all laid out there too. So I'm gonna start digging some little holes, putting in some bone mill, and I'll show you that. And I also have another half a dozen uh, tomato plants over on this side. So we're gonna get at it, and I'm gonna show you exactly what Mr. Gary does with his tomatoes. Uh, I don't destroy them, but I do pick off some of the lower leaves, and I'll show you how I do that. And I'll show you exactly how I plant these English kooks as well. So join me and I'll show you how I do uh, do one right now. Okay, folks, so I'm gonna demonstrate exactly how I plant cucumber plants. This is a, a cucumber seedling. It is around maybe four inches tall, lots of roots. And that's good and it's nice and damp. And uh, I'm going to loosen up the root ball a little bit, uh, just gently, just like I'm doing right there. And I just wanna lay it to the side and I'm gonna make my hole in this soil. Now, as you can see the soil, is quite dry underneath. I did I did spray this soil a little while ago and I did fertilize it with some 15, 15, 15 multi-purpose. Now I'm just going to dig a hole, not too far though, uh, but probably down around the, the length of my, uh, my uh, trowel here. Okay, now I always add a little bit of water to the hole, make it nice and damp. Okay, there you go. I lay down my cucumber plant like that, and I gently bring the soil in around the plant. Now there's lots of water down there now, and I'll add some more on top around it. Okay, there we have it. Now, I visited a restaurant recently, and I uh, got some of these um, recyclable uh, spoons and forks. Okay, so here we have a spoon from a fast food restaurant, and I'm just gonna write on this now, cucumber. C, U, C, U, M, B, E, R. Now, I'm just gonna stick that in the soil right there and I have that one done. And I'm gonna uh, continue that process. I have, I think I got eight cucumber plants along the wall here. I'm gonna do the exact same process with each of these cucumber plants. I wanna point something out though before I move on to the next one. You will notice that most of the stem on the cucumber plant, I've planted in the hole. I've lowered it quite a bit. And uh, 
Uh, it's just the leaves that are exposed. So that's a good, good thing. I'm, I'm gonna move on to the rest of them and plant all of them. And when we come back, I'll have all of those cucumber plants planted. I have all eight of those cucumber plants now, folks, planted here inside the greenhouse. The soil is a little bit dry, so I am going to give it a good soaking now with this uh, gardening hose here. And I'm going to make sure that I water the soil and not the plants. The water is a little bit cold and I don't want to shock the plants. So I'm just going to go around the plants very, very carefully, giving them a good, good soaking around the plants. Try not to get the water on the cucumber plants. You, like I said, don't want to shock the cucumber plants and get them uh, get them wet and damp so just go around the soil very carefully give it a good soaking try to stay away as i said from the leaves but give the soil a very very good soaking now in a couple of more days time i'm going to sprinkle some more of the 15 15 15 over the top of this soil and give it another good soaking there we go all of these eight cucumber plants are now planted give the soil a good soaking mr gary get it real nice and damp okay but like i said stay away from just try to stay away from touching the plants themselves okay in between the plants like i'm doing right here give it a good soaking Lots and lots of water. It won't take long for uh, for this water to evaporate some of it anyway. Some of it will get down around the roots, but some of it will evaporate given the temperature in here today. 35 degrees Celsius in here, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so that's good. Now I need to get at those uh, tomato plants and I have a little trick that I wanna show you that I do with my tomato plants. I've got 12 there. So let's get at it and get this done and have this greenhouse finished today. Okay, I'm right in front of this tomato plant right here, folks. And as you can see, lots and lots of roots. So again, I'm going to gently pull the root ball apart. Uh, that, that doesn't damage the, uh, the plant at all. It just loosens up the roots. It's the roots uh, out so that they can spread and go a nice ways from the plant itself. Now, what I also do with a tomato plant is I remove all of the lower uh, uh, leaves. So I'm gonna take that one off and I'm gonna take that one off. I'm gonna remove that one and also that one. Okay, and I'm using a pair of scissors and I'm not ripping them. Okay, so because I don't wanna, I don't wanna damage the root stem. Now, if I could bring this plant in really, really close to you, you'll probably notice that the stem of the tomato plant is almost like your arm if you're a hairy person, not like Mr. Gary, I have hardly any hair, but if you're a hairy person, that's what this tomato plant actually looks like. It looks like it's a hair, it's, it's, it's full of a lot of hairs. When this particular part of the stem is lowered down into the soil, all these fine, fine hairs on the tomato plant, they become roots as well, and they go out through the soil and they bring back vital nutrients that's in the soil. They bring back moisture that the, uh, that the plant needs, that the tomato plants, in order to bear fruit and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to now dig a little hole and we're gonna follow a similar process that we did with the cucumbers, but we're gonna do one thing different and I'm gonna show you that. Okay, so this particular tomato plant is gonna go right here where my uh, spade is to. For my little trowel is too. Okay, so I'm gonna dig a hole like that. Okay, I'm gonna use my hose. Where's my hose too? Here's my hose. I'm gonna take my hose. Again, I'm going to uh, put some water in there. Get down a little bit deeper though, because I like I said I want to bury I want to bury most of that stem uh, from the tomato plant. I got a fairly deep hole there now, so I'm gonna put in some water. Okay, a nice bit of water in that hole where the tomato plant is going to go. There you go. But here's the addition that I'm going to do. I'm going to take a handful of bone meal and I'm just going to sprinkle that down in the bottom of that hole. Okay, and I'm going to put that plant now right on top of the bone meal. And I'm going to bring my soil in around 
and you'll notice right away, Mr. Gary, you buried that plant. Yes, I did. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. That was my goal, to get that plant, most of the stem, down underneath the soil. I'm going to continue now that process with the rest of them in a second. But again, I've got a uh, spoon here from a, from a restaurant that I visited recently. On my way out, I took a few because I knew I would be doing some gardening very, very soon. This particular variety of tomato is called Mountain Merit. So I'm going to write Tom for tomato and I'm going to write Merit. And I'll know that it's Mountain Merit. So Tom and Merit is wrote on the spoon. And I'm just going to stick it in the soil like that. There you go. Let's do that now for, with the remaining, with the remaining uh, 11. I have 12 tomato plants here. So I'm going to do that. When I get all this done, we'll come back and we'll have another look uh, through the greenhouse. Okay, we're watering the soil around the tomato plants like I'm doing here. And we're staying away from touching the tomato plants. Don't worry about those old leaves there from the tomato plants. They'll just dry up. Okay. A good soaking, the same as we did with the cucumber. Now, I'll go around and show you the greenhouse. and show you what it looks like. All right, let's do that. Let's go in the greenhouse, folks, and see what we did today. We planted tomatoes and cucumbers in our greenhouse today. This particular variety that you're looking at right now is called Mountain Merit Tomatoes. And there are six plants on this side. And along the back, we have the English cucumbers. There's eight along there. The strings for all the cucumbers and the strings for all the tomatoes have all been ran. So when these tomatoes and these cucumbers want to start climbing, their strings are all ready. Another six plants of Mountain Merit tomatoes. The glider is here and a couple of stools is here. A nice spot for people like Mr. Gary and Mrs. Betty to come and enjoy a beverage of some sort. You decide on the beverage, of course. A beautiful, beautiful, uh, well-organized, clean and tidy greenhouse. All ready to enjoy and let's hope these plants now should grow in the uh, heat of the summer. Let me zoom in to the clock on the wall there and you'll see that it's 34 degrees Celsius and that's nearly 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity inside this greenhouse right now is almost at 80. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Gander, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. Very glad, very excited to have the greenhouse all completed. I still have, I still have a few more beds left to do, and I'll be doing these today and tomorrow. So I'll get all that done, folks. It's time now, though, folks, to thank you. Thank you for joining me today in my, uh, in my greenhouse and helping me plant cucumber plants and tomato plants. And now that we've got the greenhouse all done, we'll move on to the garden and finish that very, very soon. But Mr. Gary's going to take a little break now, and I'm going to enjoy a beverage. And my beverage of choice is, of course, a beer right now. And folks, I want to say again, thank you, and you have a blessed, blessed day. And we'll see you very, very soon in another video. Mr. Gary, signing out. Take care, folks.